Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you 5 things you can do to improve your chess. Tip number 1, play against higher rated opponents. So if you come to leeches, instead of clicking one of these boxes, which is what you usually do to play a game, let's say you want to click on 3 plus 2, instead of clicking here, you're going to click on custom. Now, you have many options, but what really matters here is that you're going to leave this in standard, this is standard chess, you're going to bam, put real time, this is what allows us to play 3 plus 2 or 10 plus 5 or, or, or rapid or blitz, and you're going to well, for example, if you don't want to play rapid, then you have to put 10 minutes plus 5 seconds a move per move, right? But if you, uh, let's say, I'm just going to use blitz, sorry, not bullet, blitz. I don't recommend playing bullet. Blitz. So 3 minutes plus 2 seconds each side. I'm not going to move anything of that. I'm happy with rated. And this is where the real deal comes. So normally it's set like this, but what you're going to do is that you're going to Make sure that it says minus zero. What this does is that it uh, it makes sure that you play against someone higher rated than you. So 100% you're going to get someone higher rated than you. David, why is that useful? I'm going to play against someone stronger than, th than me. They're going to beat me. That's bad. No, that's good. You're playing against someone stronger than you. You're going to learn more because if they do beat you, then it's probably because they deserved it. That They, they are stronger than you, so they definitely taught you a lesson. You have to learn from that. And when you do learn from it, you will slowly start beating them back. And slowly, you're, you're always going to play against a stronger position, and that's good for you. That's good for your chess, and it's more challenging. You can do the same thing with chess.com. So you click play here, and we're going to click play online. And instead of playing this, like pressing this big green button, you're going to click on custom right below it. And now it's the same thing. So we're going to click, we're going to leave this as standard. I don't know if you can see it because of my camera, but this, this is a standard. This this tells me what the rhythm, so what 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 format is. I'm gonna press press three plus two. Opponent, we're gonna press random. We're not gonna change that. And rating range once again. So we're gonna make sure that this is the lowest possible. In this case, it's not zero like leeches. It's minus twenty five, and plus infinite. So tip number two: warm up puzzles. So you're gonna come to Puzzle Storm. If you don't know how to get to this page, you're gonna click on leeches once again. Puzzles and Puzzle Storm. What this is, is that you're going to get many puzzles in less in, in three minutes. So you have to solve as many as you can. At the beginning, they're going to be easy, but they're going to get difficult throughout you start solving them. And the reason why this is a good warm up is that this is the equivalent of stretching. So if you're going to play a football match, let's say you're going to stretch before to, to not be too rusty and to not break something, right? Well, um, the equivalent to chess is chess, chess puzzles. So puzzles are a warm up. Why? Because, well, let's say in this position, I play this and that, right? So I'm already training my brain, and there's no loss. I'm giving a check, and I take this knight. I play e5, and I promote the pawn. So it's 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 quick, and it's it's a warm up because um it, it gets your brain going. It it's it it gets you aware. Chess.com has an equivalent. It's called Puzzle Rush. You can see it over here. I'm gonna put my camera back there. And the problem with this one is that you are, you only have three or five tries a day, so it's not unlimited tries like leeches, but the same thing you, you would click play it would give you um, three minutes in order to, to solve as many puzzles as you can you would start doing this and you, you you warm up tip number three exercise it's not a secret that chess is is exhausting mentally but it's also demanding in the physical side so what you're going to do is that you're if you exercise you're going to have rapid blood flow you're going to have you're, you're going to increase your awareness and you're going to increase your neuroreceptors um, people like uh, Magnus and Fabiano Caruana, who are the uh, best chess players in the world, like really number one and number two in, in the rating list, they exercise a considerable amount of time outside chess. Uh, for instance, I think Magnus goes skiing, uh, Magnus does that, plays football, basketball, I think Fabiano Caruana has a tennis court in his house, something like that. Um, I would be lying to you if I told you, if I, if I, Told you that I understood this in depth, all these three points. But once again, I think uh, Google would be a good solution to that. Tip number four: eat brain food. So what's going on is that when your mom told you that you have to eat your vegetables and stuff like that, we all thought that that was rubbish. Like, well, what is that? Well, how is food going to improve my 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 mental capacity or? Or, or my skills but what happens is that some foods are just better than others it's true your mom wasn't lying the nut, nuts salmon and beans actually beans i didn't know but i normally eat nuts and salmon before a tournament and what i do is that i usually take nuts as a little snack during a tournament because i know that when i'm playing a professional tournament my game is probably going to take two, three to four hours sometimes and 
I'm gonna get hungry and I would like a little snack in the meantime. So I really like eating nuts because it boosts, I feel like it boosts my chest. And um, if I could eat salmon as well, I would do it, but I do normally that after the round. And last but not least, don't play chess if you don't want to. It's not a secret that chess is a very tilting game if you might lose, any, anything is, is tilting if you lose uh, continuously. So um, instead of playing for rating points and playing with this mindset of trying to win, Stop yourself, say, okay, I've played enough games, I'm losing too much, I'm getting out, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to think about other things other than chess, so what really matters is focusing on ideas and improving, trying to understand the chess game. But you, if you start thinking about the result, what the reputation, all these things, then just stop, call it a day, have a break, it's fine, it happens to everyone. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And as always, have a nice day.